get to work today, man. Calm down, let's get into this. Welcome back to Eddie B TV. I am, of course, Eddie B. Nice to see y'all. And we are back at you again today for another reaction video. Uh, but before I get into anything, uh, got a couple of things I wanna say. Um, first and foremost, um, I made it clear that I'm not big on certain things. I'm not big on law enforcement and the, the, the justice system, politics, all that kind of stuff. But what I'm into doesn't necessarily mean that it's not important, doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, people involved in the things I'm not into don't have families and, um, and, um, and, and people that they take care of, people that rely on them. And so, having said that, I gotta say this real quick. I woke up today and I was already kind of like disappointed about, you know, last night. I'll get into that later. That doesn't mean anything right now. But um, I wanna send um, a big shout out and a big rest in peace to my man Colin Powell, man. Now, <laughs> I'm not big on politics. I'm not big on military, things like that. It's just not my speed. It's not something that I treasure or care about in, in that kind of way. But the one thing you got to acknowledge about uh, the man Colin Powell is that he was like the first of uh, many things for being a black man in America. Uh, excuse me. I don't know the whole uh, his whole resume, but one thing I do know is that he was the first uh, black um, secretary of state, I think it was. Oh, man, I can't tell. Um, he was also... I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm pretty sure if you guys know this, please tell me. But I think he was like the first black man to be like on, uh, let me see if I'm saying this right, uh, the chairman to the Joint Chiefs of Staff or something like that. I think that's how it is, but I could be wrong. Please somebody school me on that. And, uh, you know, he was just like um, overall, as I've seen in many news segments and many stories and all that that he was just really a good man overall so you gotta um you gotta pay your respects to someone who's uh who's come a long way who came from um came from the bronx actually um he just just a really good man and got to a point where he was like the first to do many many things uh in this country for for the government for the military and you know overall he was just a uh, very successful uh, intelligent and, uh, and just a great man. So uh, rest in peace to Colin Powell. Uh, I gotta say that to you. Uh, he died, I don't know if it was um, late last night or early this morning or something like that, but uh, he was 84 years old and uh, apparently he died from complications from you know the COVID virus. So um, whether you guys were into politics or not, you know what I mean, whether I'm into it or not, you gotta salute uh, a man like Colin Powell. So rest in peace, sir. You were um, a valued, um, you were a valued member of uh, America's government and uh, America's military, and uh, apparently you did a lot of stuff after your time was up doing that. So rest in peace, Colin Powell. Um, big ups to you, my man. You were a great person, and uh, shout out to your family as well. Hopefully they're uh, coping with your loss um, the best way they can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, chill on that one. And uh, another thing I was gonna get into was, uh, man, it was uh, it was a nail biter uh, all game last night. But uh, unfortunately, my Seahawks came up short by a field goal in overtime, man. Played awesome, but it came down to the last play, a fumble from uh, Geno Smith, but hey, man. He hasn't started a game in a while. He did a hell of a job even keeping us in it. So it was just one game down, still a lot to go, but hey, man, uh, it was just a devastating loss. I was screaming my head off, man, because I was so pissed. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. Just one game down, many to go, and now I'll relax on that too. So let's get down to the business at hand, all right? We got someone that we have not reacted to, and uh, we're gonna get into one today. This is gonna be my man, Shane Smith. I have never heard of this man before, you know? And uh, <laughs> he was requested, uh, this video specifically was requested to me by one of my very loyal subscribers. And uh, Demonic210, thank you so much for suggesting this video to me. And we are definitely gonna get into it today. I appreciate your suggestion. I appreciate you tuning in to ADBTV, my man. And uh, 
Overall, just appreciate it, man. What else can I say, man? The more people are tuning in to me, the more people giving me requests, man, it lets me know that my family is forever continuing to grow and grow. And I ain't got no problem with that. So yeah, man, we're gonna get into one with him. And um, this one is gonna be titled, Robbing Wendy's with an Alligator. Okay, now that is just confusing in so many different ways. <laughs> I don't know how you rob any place with an animal, but it is an alligator, so maybe this is a fear-generated robbery. I don't know what it really is uh, <laughs> going to be about, but we're going to get into it, man, like I said. So, one more time. <laughs> Shane Smith robbing Wendy's with an alligator. And if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. All right. Well, hey, man. Um, a horrible loss for America and Colin Powell. And uh, just uh, I was watching a little bit of stuff on it before I got started today. And uh, just a great man. So, you know, you got to pay respects to him. Uh, just one game down for my Seahawks. And hopefully we can get better from this year on out. And then, ah, who knows, man. I don't really know how to talk right now. I'm a little bit, yeah, a little bit jumbled up in ways, but um, yeah, we still got a lot of work to do here right now. So, yes, let's get into it. Like I said, Shane Smith with robbing Wendy's with an alligator. <laughs> I can't believe that title. Right here on Eddie B TV, a new week of stand-up comedy. Let's check this one out. Yeah, here we go. I've been traveling a ton this year for comedy, which has been great. Uh, I went to two places in, in particular. I went to Austin and Portland. Both places, no, hold on. <laughs> Either way, you're wrong. Both. If you see me before and I bring up a place, I will say nothing good about that place. <laughs> I'm not here to be like, they were great and moving on. No, so I went to Austin and Portland and they're not so bad. But here is the thing, Austin and Portland, both cities where their whole motto is keep it weird. And they're, we're weird, uh. And I showed up and I'm like, I'm a weird guy. I love weird stuff. I cannot wait to see what I'm gonna see. Nothing weird at all, okay? I'm talking to people like, when does the weird happen? And they're like, it's around. It wasn't. <laughs> There's nothing weird happening in either of those places. I was like, you guys have to, the bar has to be higher. I live in New York once on the subway. I saw a guy, and this is real, only wearing the top half of a SpongeBob costume, okay? Yeah, and what, oh, what was he doing, you ask? He was wrestling. A st another man, okay, who clearly didn't know him. That guy he was wrestling was just yelling out over and over again. He goes, Sponge Bill, no! <laughs> yeah. But, no one on the train was helping. There's everyone watching like he seems like he has it under control. So if you're gonna be weird, you gotta step it up. Also, how dare Austin and Portland keep it weird? When, how, how dare they act like they're weird when they know Florida exists? Oh. Damn. Yeah. And it's just out there doing what Florida does. <laughs> Last time I was in Florida, this is real. By the way, this is Googleable information after the show. I'm in Florida. I'm walking past a newspaper stand. I look into the stand. The headline on the newspaper reads, Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what did you just say to me? I read it, I still said that out loud. It was incredible. Oh, and also, oh yeah, that's all you want to say? You don't want to add any more to that? Like, I don't know, maybe tell us if the alligator was an accomplice or a weapon? How about that? That's what I'm wondering. For real. <laughs> Did this guy rob a Wendy's with an alligator? Or did this guy rob a Wendy's with an alligator? There's a huge difference. Did, like, did, he, start a, did he start a gang with an alligator, throw a bandana on it? He's like, we're the alligator boys now. <laughs> 
get to a Wendy's and make this official. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, this is how, I, I bought the paper and I read the article, and this is real. He used the alligator as a weapon, okay? And when I read that, I was like, did he at least hold it like a gun? <laughs> right? He didn't. He threw it. <laughs> through a drive through window. <laughs> yep. Hey. You didn't see that one coming, did ya? No, I did not. <laughs> you know who else did it? The lady. Oh. At the drive through <laughs> So many things have to happen before you can even throw an alligator. <laughs> you have to find it in the wild? <laughs> Also, by the way, how horrible is Florida that there is just alligators available to you? Yeah. <laughs> what was even his qualifying material? Was he looking for a specific type? Or did he just, the first one he saw, he was like, this is the one, and he took it. That was it? I hope not. <laughs> so this is real. This happened in Florida, a place connected to the United States where we are all living currently. A grown man with a driver's license yeah. found an alligator that day. He didn't even build a relationship with it. <laughs> Get to know me first. He takes his new alligator and he seatbelts it into the back seat of his car. I assume. Safety first. I just have no idea how else you keep it from getting into the front seat and biting you, right? Uh, I don't, I don't you know if you seat, guys huh? know anything about alligators, but they kind of just do whatever they want. Yeah. So he seatbelts this dinosaur into the back seat. <laughs> and he gets into the front seat and he's like, ah, oh, I gotta make some money today. Turned the wheel. Oh, I could get a job. And he goes, no, no time. <laughs> no time. Spent most of my day on that alligator thing. Oh. Projects. I could rob someone. And he goes, I could rob a place. Those places have more money than someone's. <laughs> rob a bank. And he goes, no, no, they'll be expecting that. <laughs> thinking about it. And then he, saw, he comes to the conclusion, Wendy's. They have money and chili. That's the place. Oh, wow. So he drives his new alligator to Wendy's, okay? Pulls up to the drive-thru, and the lady at the drive-thru is like, hello, how can I help you today? And he goes, give me all the money. And she just goes, looks right at him and goes, uh, no. <laughs> you didn't even come inside? <laughs> you failed at this robbery. And the dude is so mad. He goes, give me the money in the register or I'll kill you. And she's from Florida, so she's not afraid of death or whatever. <laughs> She looks down at him, she's like, no. If you had a gun, you would have shown it to me already. I call your bluff, get out of here, crazy guy. Go, go, go. And he's seething mad at this point, furious. And he's like, you know what? I don't have a gun, but hold on. <laughs> yeah. And then he palmed an alligator through the drive through window. Yup. Damn. He skipped so many steps in that robbery. <laughs> if he had a list of things he was supposed to do, he would have thrown the alligator, looked down, and just been like, oh no! <laughs> I was supposed to threaten her with the alligator first. <laughs> By the way, can you imagine being her? He's telling this guy off and he's like, you know what, I don't have a gun. And you're like, wow, nailed it. Really doing it today. And then he leans back and starts unbuckling the world's ugliest toddler. I'm like, ugh. Oh. 
What? Hey, someone, come and see. This is wild. And then you look back, and an alligator is flying. <laughs> Imagine being the car behind him. <laughs> Sitting there with your girlfriend. Like, what takes so long to make burgers here? <laughs> She's on her phone, you're like, do you even care? You look back from her, and then an alligator soars. <laughs> from window to window! <laughs> Honey, get off your phone, they're throwing alligators into Wendy's! <laughs> this guy is crazy! Yeah. She's on her phone, like, that doesn't make sense. They don't even serve alligators here. <laughs> what? Why am I with you? Exactly. Ugh. So, this dude is sitting there, awkwardly, with no more alligators left to play in the robbery. <laughs> Probably thinking to himself, oh, you think if I ask for my alligator back? <laughs> Such a bad idea to throw it. He didn't even put a fanny pack on it. Like, maybe get some money while you're in there? I don't know. <laughs> so, he drives off. Yeah, and he gets arrested immediately. He didn't even wear a mask. Yeah, he was like, I'm in Florida. People throw alligators. I'll probably get lost in the shuffle. Uh, no, he didn't. They remembered him. They arrested him pretty hard afterwards. The end of the article is true. It goes, no one was injured. The alligator was safely released back into the wild. And at the very end of the article, it read, no drug involvement suspected. <laughs> Oh yeah, Florida? That was your sober plan? <laughs> what does the non-sober plan look like? <laughs> Do you ride a horse and the alligator throws you? What happens? Oh, oh my goodness, okay. Well, I don't know exactly why they cut it off that kind of way, but hey, whatever, man. That was still a funny ass story. Weird, but funny at the same time. All right, man, that was Shane Smith with robbing Wendy's with an alligator. Well, well, I mean, to be honest with you, it was a funny story, but at the same time, the way that he was like describing things, just being a little bit loud, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, well, you know, some things weren't as funny as other parts, but you know what, hey, all I know is, is that I used to work at a Wendy's a while back, right? And I'll tell you what, if somebody would have thrown an alligator at me, Let's just say there's gonna be some murder taking place. <laughs> I remember one time I was working when I was working at Wendy's. I was working the front counter, and someone who got their uh, their drive-through order wrong came into the store with their bag and threw their bag onto the counter and hit me. And I remember when that happened. I treated the situation like the bag of food was an alligator, and I was just like. Oh, I just wanted to kill her. I just wanted to kill that woman, man. But you know what? I kept my cool. I kept my little weird, crazy smile on. And I was just like, I didn't take your order, ma'am. So please don't throw food at me. <laughs> oh, man. I wanted to snatch that. Ooh, I wanted to snatch her neck, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All right, but you know what? I'm gonna unpack a couple of things. One, when it comes to weird stuff happening anywhere, it always bugs me that for some reason it's not rectified like immediately. It's like it just becomes part of that place's culture for some reason. You know, it's any any place where there is a certain type of animal or creature of any kind that is so lethal that it could kill you if it ever got a hold of you, but it's just roaming around free like it's nothing. Yeah, I got a big problem with that. I mean, I stay here up in Washington State, man, and like at the very, very least, we got probably like some deers and raccoons and possums, you know, but then I was like, no, I'll just punt that thing across the street, you know what I mean, it's whatever. I actually had to do that to a raccoon one time. A raccoon was charging me like I owed it money or something like that, and I was just like, you better back away. He's like, oh, he's not running away, and I went, boom! 
yep, went somewhere just away from me. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just, I don't understand the motivation for certain things sometimes, you know what I mean? It's just like, that has to be, when at the end, when he said not drug related or something like that, I'm thinking, nah, man, if this isn't drug related, then how the hell is this dude walking free? <laughs> he probably didn't have any arrest record or nothing like that too, man, because they didn't specify that. But it was just kind of like, damn, bro. You go through the drive-thru, like he said, through the drive-thru, not inside, and just going, he's gonna bite you if you don't give me some money and then all that. No, he just throws it in. Man, nobody prepares anything with their crimes even these days, man. You know, I will I will say this, I'm not a fan of reality television or nothing like that, but sometimes certain titles for certain things could reel me in if I was actually into it. Like, you know, like uh, America's Dumbest Criminals, right? Man, I, I'd probably watch that all day if I was into reality TV. And I, I guess you probably wouldn't call that reality TV per se, but it's just like, eh, sort of like uh, America's Funniest Home Videos or 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 uh, Unsolved Mysteries or something like that. I don't know. It's just some things I'm not particularly into, but they do have some uh, very interesting stories that they tell on those programs, so I've heard. But you know, as far as weirdness, like I said, goes Florida. I don't know a damn thing about Florida. You know what I mean? The only thing that I know is what I've heard, right? What I've heard is it's very hot down there. It's pretty much like a tropical climate down there. There's a lot of old people down there. And um, there's also a lot of damn alligators down there. So I just be wondering, that odd combination of things you people, you, you think that certain people wouldn't give a damn about Florida. <laughs> But, you know, they got so much good stuff out there. People be kicking it, man. It's all bright every day. There's probably parties and stuff. I'd be like, look, man, just get yourself away from the alligators, man. You know, the alligators kill you, man. Have you seen them things? Them things just look like when they move around, because they got that big ass tail and stuff. They just look like it has no expression. It's just one expression. Just, mm, or, ah. <laughs> it's just those two expressions, man. If you can't tell how somebody feels, man, then obviously they got something against you. Or they just got something against life. That's part of who they are as a creature, man. It's just trippy, man. Anything that I can't pet and feel safe, I don't really bother with it too much. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just too much. You know what I mean? I don't mess with certain animals. It's not really much as fear as much as it's just, hey, I know this thing can hurt me, so I'd rather just distance myself from it. I get along with pretty much any animal, really, but it's just like some of them animals are wild cards, you know? And you don't really want to know what the outcome is. <laughs> it's just too much for me, man. But hey, man, that's going to be all for that one. That was a trippy-ass story, man, but uh, I just know that if I were to hear about any weird stories like that in the town, I'm going to be the first one there running down to do some live reporting, and I'm going to put it on my YouTube, too. It's going to be like, we are here live with somebody who was... I don't know what he was doing. He was throwing milk duds. Uh, he was throwing milk duds at a priest for no apparent reason. I'd be like, yeah, I don't know. That's the weirdest thing I can come up with. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's just, it's just too much, man. The weirdness all over the country is very much frequent, but obviously more weird in other places as opposed to others. But yeah, man, that's going to be all for this one, man. Um, another shout out to Demonic210 for suggesting this video, man. I appreciate you so much for doing that. Um, this guy, Shane Smith, is a very interesting looking guy. He's tatted up everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And uh, his, um, his uh, attitude on stage just seems to be like when he's really thinking something's funny or weird, he tends to get a little louder. And uh, this is only the first video I've seen by him. He's probably got other stuff that's uh, maybe a little bit better than this, but this was still a very crazy story, man. So you gotta, uh, you gotta uh, laugh and applaud that one, man. There's just so much weirdness and this was no exception. So yeah, man, um, one more time. Shane Smith with robbing Wendy's with, an, <laughs> I can't say it, robbing Wendy's with an alligator. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going, like I always say. So yeah, man, uh, that's a wrap on this one. This is gonna be Eddie BTV signing off. One more get here. Uh, another week of stand-up comedy starting, you know, and um, it's my first new week of stand-up comedy above 2,000 subscribers, you know? So, hey, man, if, uh, if I started this whole thing, which would be uh, five months ago, three days from now on the 21st is when I made my first video, and I'm at 2,000 now, well, I can only say sky's the limit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm really pleased about that. Um, I try not to, uh, you know, obsess over my subscriber count, you know, because I'm just 
busy having fun, checking out new things and getting y'all hip to some things that I'm into as well. So it's just like um, the more that I can get people tuning in, man, I'm like, we're going to create a nice little dysfunctional family here, you know? I already feel it growing with each passing day, and it's, uh, it's a good feeling to know. And all the comments that I get from people, even if you don't agree with me, I don't care about that. It's just like, let's keep it civil, man. No insults, no hate, no, nothing like that. I ain't down with that, all right? You know, I've had people disagree with me in the comments about things that I've said, and you know what? Hey, you can disagree. That's healthy to me because, you know, if everybody was the same, then the world would be a pretty damn boring place now, wouldn't it? But hey, man, that's going to be all she wrote for that. So yeah, thank y'all for tuning in with me one more time here. Got a lot of stuff to get to throughout the rest of the week. Hope you tune in and enjoy. Love and appreciate y'all. Peace.